So my name is Johan Hammerstrom. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Community IT and we've been in business for about 20 years. The entire time we've focused on providing IT support to nonprofit organizations. Uh, we do help desk support, um, strategic planning, and a variety of other consulting services. Yeah, so I presented on, the session was Build Your Own BYOD. BYOD stands for Bring Your Own Device, which is uh, kind of a buzzword that represents the trend towards uh, using more consumer-based technology uh, in the organization. So people using their um, smartphones, their tablets, uh, to accomplish the work that they're doing for the organization that they work for. Uh, and there are a lot of, it's, it's very new and there are a lot of sort of risks and challenges as well as benefits associated with BYOD. And I think it's something that is important for organizations to have a better understanding of and develop effective policies around. Um, so the goal of, of the session was really to just um, kind of give people a background on where this problem came from, hopefully provide them with some new ways of thinking about BYOD, and then give them some tips and tools for putting together their own BYOD policy uh, within their organization. Things have changed significantly in terms of how organizations use IT. And you know, traditionally I think the IT department basically like gave somebody a computer, like a desktop computer or sometimes a laptop, gave them access to a variety of different systems and then was like, here, you know, have at it, kind of but controlled the access to those systems sort of within some very narrow parameters. And so all the new technologies and services that are available now have really sort of changed the dynamic and it's no longer enough to just give someone a computer and Microsoft Office and say, okay, you know, do your work. Um, I think there needs to be more of a dialogue between the organization and between the IT department. Uh, and so kind of thinking about, thinking more about the actual work that someone is doing is really a great first step. So instead of saying, you know, here's the system and, you know, use it however you want to like get your job done, asking the question, well, what is it that you need to do um, for the organization in order for you to do your job, in order for the organization to accomplish, it, accomplish its mission? And then, um, what, you know, what are the things, because of how you need to use computers, um, what information do you need to access in the course of doing your work? And so it becomes important to kind of look at that on a more granular level and really look throughout the organization and see, you know, may, what types of information do different staff need access to? What are some ways that they can use this new, all these new devices um, that are becoming available in order to do their job more effectively? I think the days of giving someone a desktop in Microsoft Office and just assuming that now they can do their work effectively with technology are pretty much over and it would really be helpful I think for organizations to look more closely at the actual you know tasks that their staff have and what are some new technologies and new approaches to doing that work that could really make them a lot more effective. There isn't you know a silver bullet technology solution that's going to actually address the problem for every organization and that that's kind of new for IT people who are kind of used to you know, putting in a technology tool and solving the problem that way. It really requires IT departments to you know, kind of understand the organization at an organizational level and interact with other people in their organization. Um, so I think the, you know, the, the slides from this session definitely act as a good starting point. Um, I can provide links to some of the articles that I've found really helpful on BYOD, um, and so that's that could at least get people thinking about you know some of the different challenges with BYOD. Um, but then beyond that, I really think you know it's important for IT staff or whoever's responsible for BYOD to kind of get up from their desk and go out and you know talk to others in the organization as a way of really developing an effective policy.